Da. Fire. And that stinks. I don't know if that's intentional or it just happened. But I'm sure it's not spontaneous combustion because it's not that hot. Man, this field is wide. And we're off. Just had a small pit stop here at Enlex. Cast up. Um, had some re re uh, water. Because that's really important when uh, when you're riding, especially in this. You won't feel your sweat because it's all being abs uh, absorbed by uh, by what you wear. But believe believe me, you are sweating a lot. And I, when I say a lot, a lot. So you, you you need to make it a point that every time there's an opportunity, perhaps every one hour or two hours of riding, try to get some water. And we are on our way to, uh, well, before heading back home to Manila, we've been invited for a special lunch by one of our, uh, one of the uh, esteemed members of the, uh, the Ducati touring team. So we're going to exit in San Simon. That's, uh, that's the next exit that we're going to take. And uh, we're going to have our lunch there. Early, early lunch, maybe? But we haven't had a proper breakfast yet, so yes, we do have an appetite. And when after you're riding and with this kind of uh, and this kind of uh, good company, yeah, it's nice to eat. Man, uh, there's a lot of crosswind in this area. So when you're doing 100 and uh, you're in this open space. There's a lot of crosswinds, and it, it, you really feel it destabilizing the uh, the bike. So sometimes when there's a crosswind, I just duck under to keep myself small and not be like a wall that's absorbing all the uh, all the wind. So, uh, yep. All right. Chevrolet, are you going to be a human speedometer? I mean speed limiter. Three, two, one, no signal, then I'll take it. Excuse me. San Simon, 500 meters. All right, that's our next stop. Where is it, where is it? I don't know, I'm staying here. Reduce speed now. We're going to make an exit here. Yep, that's me. We're the last. Thanks. Wait, that, isn't that guy easy? Can we go there? No, I don't have an easy pass. I just have cash. Andrea, miss. Ah, uh, dulo. Papa. Ah, uh, di ko makuha. There you go. Okay, salamat.
these people, my friends, my fellow bikers, is how a typical town here, somewhere in the north, looks like. As you can see, there's a lot of wide, uh, wide roads, shoulder is paved, so that the slow cars, like this tricycle, would stay on the right. But I don't think they got the memo. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the north, so it looks nice. Roads are nice. Not, not, no traffic. There, we have a lot of uh, means of transportation when you want to go here. There's your tricycle, which is pretty much like your taxi that can take you anywhere. You have jeeps like that that has a, has a defined route. And if they pass through where you're going, then you can take it. It's also the cheapest because you pay around, um, right now it's 7 pesos, which is, um, how much? Uh, what's 10 cents? If 10 is one fifth. Let's just say it's dirt cheap. <laughs> Not even using the signal light, huh? Motorcycle. Put the person on it so you can carry your box. You should see people put mattresses on it. <laughs> one time there was one guy who had, who had flat screen TV. And this is a marketplace. Yep, marketplace. I should call it a fish market because uh, it smells like fish. Now let's try to absorb all that fragrance. This is a busy area, that's why we have this traffic. And typical town has a lot of tricycles. You know, for, if you notice in my videos, each area is placed has their own um, has their own design of tricycles well others don't have a design others do from what I see here no they do not have a design they just have a tricycle motorcycle sidecar tricycle no um, uniform format no this guy tried to pimp out some must uh, work on some chrome stainless on his motorcycle. Same with that one, which is supposed to be illegal because, oh man, yeah, they're, they're rocking a lot of chromes. I think that came from just one dealer. And people say, yeah, that, that looks cool, it's so shiny. Yeah, but when you, um, that should not be allowed because at night when you uh, put your headlights on, it's gonna reflect. They're just being a dick. Wow, my motorcycle is getting hot. 100 degrees, fan kicks in. It's 100 now from 101, so it's working fine. Now it's 99. Oh yeah, I love my cooling system. It gets really hot though. Hell, that's what you get for having a hot, for having a sexy Italian uh, motorcycle. It's beautiful, it's sexy, yes, it's also hot. And we're out of the market area. This is still part of town though. Well, the, the structure really is. You have a town, the center, where you can buy everything. We got the market, supermarket, some some places have malls. And then when you go outside of it, to the places around it, it's a residential area. Uh, so you have these houses on the main road, but most likely you have 
Oh no, no, that's not a village. <laughs> there are villages outside. That's uh, so it's not that busy. So it's a better place to live in. Um, we have a house in the village, so it's nice and quiet. We have a house also that's located in, in a place somewhere like this, on the main road. And what sucks about it is, you can't sleep at night because sometimes there are those motorcycles that have really loud pipes. I'll call them cans. And it really disrupts you. And then at night, we even have those tricycles who's drag racing. Sometimes I just want to take out my bike and while they're drag racing, I'm going to put them to shame by overtaking them while they're racing. To show them, hey, this is how slow you are. You're not racing, you're just doing a lot of sound and doing reckless stuff. So stop the, stop the stupid fuck that you're doing. Stupid shit that you're doing. Um, so yeah, that's why I prefer to... Uh, live in the village because even though you're in town and everything is walking distance when you buy want to buy something you don't really get the peace and quiet that you want from a home when you want to rest one of my uh, our relatives from the US uh, she uh, slept there it was noisy fortunately she had some uh, bows I, I, I don't know if they're both, but they're noise-canceling headphones that are, that are really good. So that's it. Can't hear anything. Just the music. Good night's sleep. Uh, town, 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 town. Are here and look at that this is Talier de Escultura. Talier is a garage a sculpture sculptures and right off the bat you can see the gate which is a nice wooden carvings the bikes and uh, that's it instantly we have turned the parking into a Ducati showroom <laughs> we have a bike show and then the most precious cargo that we are carrying is um, San Miguel beer if you guys like beer and you, ha uh, you just need to go to the Philippines you you get a bottle for 25 cents and it's really good beer.